fighter and the kid, right? I mean, that Probably. is making you good money. Yeah. And now you have an ABC show. I Uber show. choppered here. Yeah, we, we, I don't know. I mean, I, I shot the, the certainly shot the spinoff. I, you know, it's funny because <laughs> because uh, the, the 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 it was a, it's been a good three years, right? Where I've been doing this TV and I've been do, podcast has become this monster, and then um, stand up and all that, and I won number one comic of all time. And oh wow, yeah, and I, I don't give a fuck yeah, about that. Yeah, but yeah. Um, <laughs> but the International Council of Comedic Experts gave mm, me the award. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Are you saying? Well, I don't understand what you're saying. Are you saying that I want to take a look at it now? Listen, you're not going to let. No, no, no. That'll never happen. I'm going to look at it against your will. Oh, now, now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm an I'm an aggressive doctor. Now, um, Peter Fairley told me a story where Who's he that? Uh, he's the, the Fairley brothers. No, what? Tell me. Yeah. So Tom Cruise and I have a time <laughs> share. You know this. We do jujitsu together. And uh, sorry, I do film. And and. So, <laughs> Guys, guys, guys. Now, hey, hey, man. Hey. Awesome. What the fuck? Oscar. I was there for four days. <laughs> Joaquin didn't say I, we, have to talk, we really do have to talk about that. We will. Okay, good. Crazy. I'll tell you about yeah. it. All right, all right. But, uh, but um, it, was such an, it was such a crazy experience. But um, So Peter Fairley comes in. His dad's a doctor. And he's with his brother. And he goes, and this is what how fucked up, this, how funny this family was. Not crazy. Yeah. So he goes like this. He goes, he goes, God, what a night last night. He goes, wait a minute. He goes, my ass is killing me. And he goes, well, what's wrong? And he goes, I don't know. My ass is just fucking killing me. His dad's a doctor. He goes, what do you mean your ass is killing me? What are you saying? <laughs> and he goes, I don't know. It just really hurts, man. And he goes, well, what the fuck? Well, well, how? Well, let me look at, let me see. What's going on? Let me see your ass. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. And he goes, let me see it if it's hurting. He goes, ah, it's killing me. I don't even want to bend down. And he goes, well, let me see the guy. You buy a hemorrhoid. Let me see what's going on. And he bends over and he has stuck a condom in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and his dad goes like this. He goes, "Oh Jesus, Christ, what the fuck?" And then his and then his dad. This is how sick his dad was. He goes, "God damn it, come on!" And his dad goes, "Show your mother. Go show your mother." <laughs> I, love it. I love it. That's the fair. I want to kind of have family like that. I know. That's a fun family. Sometimes you can cut through all the bullshit and just go, "Hey, bro, what do you want, really?" What would you ask for if you knew you couldn't be refused? Let's start there. Oh wow, that's a great. Where the that's, fuck that that question going? sucks. What What would you ask for if you knew you couldn't be refused? That's a terrible question. Well, for me, I, I already know. What is it? Well, so I'm in the. Uh, well, I'm only interested in self expression. Yeah. Uh, original self expression. I want to be original. So nothing can help me, <laughs> besides what? sitting or besides solitude, and uh, time. So uh, th everything else is. Uh, oh, I mean, I don't give a fuck about. I don't give a fuck about creature comforts because all that luxury is a distraction well what what do you mean what would i ask for i got everything i need house tesla health fuck off what would i ask for i'd like to be six three and have an easy and dangerous bone structure i want to walk in and just be just be fucking physically intimidating i want to smell like leather and tobacco but, but i don't wear leather and i don't smoke tobacco <laughs> I want to be dangerous. I want to be a natural Spartan. Like the guys I saw when I was in Afghanistan doing stand-up and they walked by me and they weren't wearing uniforms and they had long hair and, I, and they looked like lion men. And I, the fucking gazelle, the cowardly gazelle full of points, full of my delicate points and my long liability of a neck. <laughs> My fucking, I looked like a baby giraffe as I looked at them and followed them. And it turns out they were something like Delta. <clears throat> Just a group of Spartans <laughs> bristling with exotic weaponry. With their, with their, with, with fucking facial hair that was so thick it would be more at home on the, on the back of a boar. <laughs> Do you think I thought about this shit? No, I think about this. I've thought about this. And they got into a Cessna with no seats and took off to do some damage. I wouldn't, mind, I, I wouldn't mind being more manly. Fuck yeah. And I go, where are those guys going? He goes, that's the dark side, brother. You don't want to be on the receiving end of whatever they're Whoa. doing. And I went, well, fucking A. I'm me and Dove David off. We're like, we're a couple <laughs> pussies. I just gave you a series of compliments. Can Thanks, you give buddy. me a couple, please? Thank you. Um, I think you are... Uh, the, I honestly, as the best, <laughs> the best student to come out of my workshop I, in the past ten years. Wow, your classes were so expensive. Well, yeah, but I mean, I look mean, at the amount of ten grand a pop. Uh -huh. Wow, and he didn't even show up for the first three. Well, who was there? There was no one in the well, room. Well, I teach it online, but the yeah. thing is, that, <laughs> yeah, he teaches it online. Yeah, but there's a lot of hands-on right. physicality when you right. get to the next level. 
And I took, it's like Scientology. You have to be in there for years. Oh, yeah. Mm. Right. There's levels. That's yeah. right. Levels. And I finally got to meet him after the eighth year of taking mm -hmm. his classes. Mm -hmm. And he came in um, in a pearl cloak. Yep. Oh, wow. Mm. Right. And Much he, taller in person, everybody. Yeah, yeah. He was completely naked. Super approachable. Yeah. And um, there was like a layer of crystals or something on his dick. Mm -hmm. He shows oh. everyone. It's called venereal warts. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. But anyway, those are good classes. But you are. So what are my, the compliments you gave me? Nothing? I think you're. Uh, Thank you. Oh, come on, Bobby. No. I, didn't even, I, mean, I, gave you I like, didn't even say anything I know, yet. but I gave you, you like six of them. I know. Well, you know, and also... <laughs> I lied those, to some of them. You know, I'm made out of adamantium steel. But are, those no comments, are those comments or is that true, just the truth? It's, some of it's hidden in truth. There's yeah. always truth it's in my comments. It's just news. <laughs> it is just news. I don't but, think of you as fat. I just think of you as... Big boned. Bert. Yeah, Bert. Thanks. I'll take it. Yeah. And we'd swam out naked in Greece uh, out to this boat. And we got on this boat. It was empty. Wow. And the second we got out there, I just realized I was naked. Like, I was like... I never felt more naked. Yeah. Like, I, I was like, oh, this isn't a great look for me. Like... I don't have a big dick. I just got out of an ice cold fucking ocean. Yeah. Now I'm on some boat. We're kind of breaking and entering. Yeah. And these girls are gorgeous. And I was like, how does this end? I, like, I'm not going to fuck both of them. I'm not that guy. I don't have that game. Yeah. And I was like, I got to swim back. We don't have any beer. I was like, ugh. And you never did it. You never nope, closed the deal. Nope. That hurts me. Because I, I, I uh, was in Mykonos and I met uh, an Italian gal. And she, uh, I remember I woke up from a nap and we had been getting it on. And she was rubbing lotion on her thighs in her bikini, topless, talking to her friend, whispering to her friend in Italian so as not to wake me up. And I, I cracked my eyes and I watched this bikinied Italian gal who's probably whatever she was, 20, 21, my age. <clears throat> she was rubbing oil on her brown thighs while on her knees sitting up in the bed across from me talking to her friend who was in a chair and she was like and i was like i would rather be nowhere else than this site i never i burned that into my fucking brain i burned it into my brain and i'm, I'm gonna go jerk off i'll be right back <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good i don't know i mean it's and and not that many people watch TV. Like you can do a TV show. It used to be if you did a sitcom. You remember you? It was you were like a household name. Oh, if you were, a, uh, if you were a dwar little person, mm. right in an '80s TV show. A petit par personne. <laughs> Sorry, wow. It's French. Wow. Petit Um, and that show was a hit. Mm. Models are sucking your dick. Yeah. As a little... I mean, yeah. Charlie Hill. Do you remember Charlie Hill? No. Okay, Charlie Hill was our first American Indian comic at the comedy store. Mm. He was all right. Yeah. You know, he wasn't intrinsically funny like you and Dalia. He was more... He just t wrote cute Indian jokes. Yeah. But someone like... The, the woman that played Wonder Woman, who was that? Gal Gadot? No, the, the original one. Oh, Linda Carter. Yeah. Linda, Linda Carter. Car oh. Either Linda Carter... Yeah, somebody so like that... Beautiful. Just fucked the shit out of Charlie Hill. And he was basically an he open did? micer, I guess. Yeah. I mean, that's back in the day. If you did stand up at the comedy store. Yeah. In the 80s. Yeah. Oh, you and I would be. We, there would be no moisture in our body because all the cum, <laughs> all the get, cum would be so sucked out. Drained. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. That's what happens when I go jogging. <laughs> your, your cum gets. That's your daily. That's just because I don't run. I don't run with a shirt on. <laughs> You know what I mean? And right. I know. A car, you know it's annoying as cars drive by and they go, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> or they drive and you don't even know why. I don't know what the Probably fuck. Probably because on. either it could be your talent or it could be, I just saw you and you're a fucking piece. Yeah, I don't know. Thank what you. Is. Yeah, your back looks like a barrel right. of snakes. And you're you know, you're getting old. Who? <laughs> yeah. Bobby. No, I'm being real. <laughs> you look God, like, honestly. So... Sometimes I look at the, you know those, uh, when I see a post of you, I think you use those, that Russian app thing with the face. 365. Hey, man. Perfect 365. No, well, they'll make, they make you look old. What was that thing? Oh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh -huh. little app that makes you look old. I thought that you were using that, but you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> we're all you know you're old, handsome. Huh? What? We're all hey, getting old. How old are you now? I'm 52. I just turned 48. You did? Yeah. I know. Do you know what the difference is? I swear to God, in the past year, I, 
I, I, I have to warm my feet up before I get out of bed. You have to what? I have to warm my feet up. You have what to dangle that? them? I have to huh? fucking twirl my fucking, because my ankles, because my feet are wooden until I warm them up. I like, know. that's a terrible thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Doing well in stand-up. Yeah. And I, I go, I'm so grateful, but I, I was walking through Denver and I went, I can't believe it. It worked out this much. I know, dude. It's like a, I'm. I have a TV show on ABC. People are like, what's the? So you you're so successful. Like, what would you say to actors starting out? What would I say? What? What? <laughs> I'm. F- um. Okay. Well, let's see. Here's the Brian Callen method. Come to LA. Get mad at TV because you got lucky, and then don't work. <laughs> Basically, don't work from. 30 to 40. <laughs> but wake up a lot in a cold sweat because you're a failure and sit in a lot of traffic, but also stay in class and do scenes nobody else is going to see and do bad stand-up in little venues, but keep failing. So that'll be that'll be your 30s. you <laughs> suck through your 30s, but then it doesn't end. Then hear no a little bit less in your 40s, but hear it 97% of the time. And 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 don't do it, but get small parts for a day on the Hangover, Hangover Two, and hold on to that. But you're you saw, don't work for months, and then when you're 45, get a recurring called on on a show called The Goldbergs. You still go many 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 months jobless and be on the road not selling tickets not thursday enjoy your 16 people you fucking zero you you stranger to the world and then and then you'll get up you'll finally you'll get a podcast that because brennan Chobb's really business minded (laughs) will have some success and you still won't sell out and then when you're and then when you're 52 when you're oh. 52, you'll have a special that <laughs> didn't even get on Netflix or Showtime, but somehow people are kind of liking it because it's called Complicated Age. They are liking it. Like, it is up there in the charts, uh. whatever that means. <laughs> and for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, you have to add shows for the first time in 52. There it is, guys. It only took me from the age of 20. I, I think I, oh yeah, I got into theater school when I was 24. Yeah. So you know oh. what? 27 years later. I'm doing all right. <laughs> I'm doing all right. For now. Yeah, for now. For now, and I don't know how long it's going to last. So a couple of kids went on. That's fine. A couple of military guys, thank you for your service. And then a whole baseball team goes on. That would annoy me. Right, and they're wearing red hoodies, no. and they're kids. They're high school. And I said out loud, what the hell is this? <laughs> right? And then the coach looks at me and goes, they're hearing impaired. Oh, oh, shit. Right? And I go, oh, shit. Right? Yeah. And so then I had a red hoodie, too, the same day it did. But as, so I was next. Right? I was first. That's awesome. So I'm behind them. And then the stewardess looks at me. She goes, welcome. Oh. To me. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. And then I burst into laughter. And I oh. said, that, I'm not a part of them. That's I'm not a part yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. I do this. Uh, these guys, uh, these two thugs got really mad at me because I cut them off and they were in a pickup and they wanted to fight. They were young and they were, they were just ready to go. And I was like, these guys are fucking tough. I can't fight these two guys. And they go, they, they, the guy looks at me and goes, um, that's your ass, you motherfucker, or something like that. Yeah. And I went, I just looked at him and I'm sorry, I can't hear you very well. Although I can't see you. <laughs> and the guy just stopped and he goes, yeah, yeah. Sorry. That's a and good one. That's, surviving. Oh, that's a good one. I was afraid. One. Survival. Yeah. I was afraid. Yeah. I'm, I'm a Let coward. Let me see if I can do it. Maybe come up with something different. Hey, man, yeah. you double parked in my spot. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. That's so bad. Too much? That's Sir, muscular dystrophy. Did you take Brian oh. Callen's acting class? Yes, I did. For eight years. Yeah, first yeah. of all, first of all, I don't believe. Ten grand a pop. I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How about how about this? Oh, you're do shitty. That, do it again. You're do it shitty again. at faking an impediment. How about they do this right? Hey, man, you parked your car in two spots. Oh, I am so sorry. So stereotypical, so, dude. I'm so offended. I did too. I did retard and fucking Asian. Oh, God. Asian? That was, yeah, Asian? but that was a retarded Asian. Uh, it, sounded, it sounded like you had been, you had been, like you were trapped under rubble. <laughs> yes, I, that's three, the third thing I'm that so, I was thinking I'm about. I'm so sorry. All right, well. After you demolish something. I got to take more classes from you, buddy. You want to leave It's a good book. Mark. I've read that. But um, there's all that shit that, that kind of, um, that, that comes into it, so immortality we've always wanted to live forever 
So now with new longevity drugs and technology, holy fuck. It's on the horizon. Woo! Let's yeah, live man. Forever. I'll fucking see you in 3010. That's what it is. But then what? You know what I like about living forever? If you told me at 50 I was going to have the same energy as a 21, 20 year old, which I do. Yeah. Which I fucking do. Oh, your Fitbit, dude, the other day just fucking blew right off it your wrist. It blew off my wrist, bro. You saw that, right? I saw that, yeah. Yeah, I don't run a sprint. Yeah. yeah. All right. And a lot of times I, I run with sand. Yeah. Two buckets of sand and a bamboo pole over my fucking back. Wow, and I run hills, you bitches. Somebody said you, that you had four shoulder blades. Is that true? No, it's not true. It just looks that way because I got I got muscle on oh, top it's... of muscle. I'm the first comedian to develop muscle on top of muscle. <laughs> right on, you understand? Yeah. That's why the doctor goes, I got nothing to say. Oh, yeah. And he wrote on my chart, immortal. <laughs> right on, I don't know if that's good. I don't yeah. know if that's good, but he looked at my blood panel and goes, well, guess you're never going to die. Oh, you're that hemoglobin bad boy, that's dude. That's what it is, I like brother. that. That's what it is. That's why you could sell my plasma on the black market for as much as rhino horn goes for. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ, man. Fuck, and people bro. are getting into that. Hell yeah, I could cut a diamond with my dick right now. Damn, dude. Yeah, and we can hard. do that. Yeah, I stretch up and I stretch hard. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, and I come over and sit on my lap. No way. All right, whatever. This guy is that Fucking baby. This guy fucking obviously I hope is a, this is a being manager. Recorded. A Chuck e. Cheese. It's a hundred to zero in my book. I'm gonna say again. I was in East St. Louis and there was a Ramada, and while I was there, it got taken over by I don't even know what it was. Kentuckians. I mean, it could have been anything. Yeehaw! If you hear a lot of that, there were, and I, I don't know. In the hillbillies. morning, suddenly there was just a bunch of people working at the front desk that didn't even work there. It was yeah, fucking yeah. very. Dangerous. That, that's home of the hillbilly. Home yeah. of the hillbilly. Um, I would have to say Kentucky too on that one, man. And the and the uh, wow the, the listeners agree seventy two percent went Kentucky. There you go, bro. Now, but Missouri has that river access, man. And, uh, well, that's you. So with river access, you can ship mercenaries in, but mercenaries are never loyal. Yeah. Kentucky would just turn around and go, "Hey guys, don't have much money, but I got all the whiskey, all the moonshine you need." That's true. And those mercenaries are like, "Fuck this! I want to drink and fuck." We got hot women. We got hard horses, dude. Oh. You want to watch them fuck? It's two bucks. There you go. You know? There you go, man. You want to watch them fight, it's four. Mm -hmm. That's right. Girls will take it for the team, too. Oh, a lot like, of tall women there, too. Listen, I've had I've had some good times in Kentucky. Just yeah. know that. They got the best bourbon in the world. Mm -hmm. And I've had some I've had some good times in Kentucky. Damn. You understand me? Oh, you now, seem look, like now it. Now watch how my voice goes now. <laughs> now listen up. I've had some good times. They ask me how how wow. I, how good a time. Ask me ask me what I did in Kentucky. What'd you do in Kentucky, buddy? Stayed busy. Oh, damn, bro. Stayed, yeah, stayed busy. Wow, you've been eating gravel, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Damn. You know I, I got a special place in my heart for Kentucky. I can hear it. Yeah, sometimes I call it Kentucky. You know <laughs> oh, I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying, you know what saying? boy. Because I'm a cunt crazy fool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you understand? Oh, what's so, that in those hills? Oh, that's cunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Cunt, Kentucky. Yeah. I secretly say that in my among my friends, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I know nobody's listening right yeah. now, so I can say this to you. Oh, this is safe between you and me and That's it, plan. brother. That's it. Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah. It's going to uh, it's going to cunt their way yeah. right into the, the second guy, God right? fearing girls only on Sunday though. Oh <laughs> yeah. The minute they're done kneeling in church. They... Oh, they got that Chick-fil-A plus. Yeah, that is correct. You sir. know? That is correct. Kentucky. This thing's only open six days a week, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you better mm -hmm. shut it down and put oh, pickles on it. God damn. But I don't have any teeth. Don't you worry about that. Yeah. Daddy didn't give a fuck about teeth. Yeah. That's, I'm kidding. I've seen some beautiful women in Kentucky. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the men, though, I feel like coming a little bit. The women are really the prize over there. And but, women are, the women can fight in Kentucky. Oh, yeah. And the men can too, and they will. The men sniff the air. There's no talking. Yeah. The men in Kentucky will go. Yeah. That you're raised to to go. You yeah. understand? Oh, that's the instinct belt. Oh yeah. Now let me tell let me tell you what a man in Kentucky does. Yeah. When you come at him, mm -hmm. he'll meet you halfway. Oh Jesus. You understand? Yeah. He'll so you don't you even halfway. get to go all the way there. He's 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 Nah, he meets you halfway. Jesus. All okay. right. And it's just out of it's out of kindness. It's the only place I've ever had a guy try to fight me for no reason. Wow. Yeah. And by the way, I was ready. <laughs> damn, damn, bro. Yeah. So March twelfth, your special comes out? Yeah. Are complicated you apes complicated apes is the name best thing i've ever done are you wearing a mask or are you going to have your face on it what is that question man i'm just saying like do you want to have a sellable product or is it still going to be you yeah it's going to be fucking me bro so you come out and you go hey it's gallon you do all that stuff i don't do that that's not a fucking i see you every night do this hey it's gallon you like a, you like a fake that's gunslinger that's not a fucking accurate that's what you impression do. of my stand that's what you, you son do. of a bitch let me do one of your jokes how about this i'll do one all of your right, jokes go ahead. i don't even know your stuff all right, I'll, I know do your one, stuff. I'll do one of your jokes. Okay, fine. Here's your All joke. Right. Ready? Go ahead. 
dude, uh, you know how, uh, you know how, I de- what's up with this girl in the, what's up with this girl in the front row? <laughs> Oh, it's just like, the lady says, this is her hair. <laughs> Dude, so here's me. I'm man, a, that's I'm not a, me. This is you. That's exactly fuck, you. Fuck you, man. This is exactly you. You know what I hear? You guys you? know when you're at the gym and you've got your dick up and you're washing your balls? I don't do that's that. That's you. my joke. That's your joke, You want to know your joke? And Go I ahead. heard you the other night. Go ahead. And I had a problem with it. Go ahead. Yeah. You were like, whites rule. What? So you said that's what I heard. That's one of my jokes. Yep, you were like, whites are the best. And well, I was finish like, the joke. Let me make huh? sure it was mine. Finish you it. You were what like, else? whites are the best. Mm-hmm. They should rule. That's yeah. what you said. I say whites are the and best. Yeah, and no rule. voting for anybody else. That's what I heard. What's the punchline, though? It, you know, that's the bummer that there wasn't any fucking punchline. I got to tell you, I, I know that joke. Yeah. I go, whites rule. No one else gets to vote. Yeah. And I got to tell you something. <laughs> White privilege has been good. Yeah, yeah, no, but then you go like this. Then you said uh, the the killer that would actually make last year. White rule, nobody else should vote. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I and I believe in white privilege, Mm -hmm. but I still like black chicks. That's 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 the joke. Yeah. Okay, so I redeem myself. Meanwhile, you're talking about scrubbing your cock on stage all night. That's not what I do, though. Is your special called scrubbing my cock? No, bro. It's called American Boner. Yeah, and one of them's no Dakota, and one of them's so Dakota. There you go. (laughs) So Dakota. Yep. So Dakota. All right, Boom, that does it for the it. first round of the Midwest. Let's wow. move over to the How East. How quickly a state can fall. It's amazing to see that. <laughs> it's it's amazing it's to amazing. see. amazing. And this is what it's like, bro, even at a government level. I know. It's a couple of fucking moonbeams sitting around That's on it. top of Eddie Bravo's fucking darkest dreams, just pointing fingers and deciding who does what, <laughs> man. You're right. That's all it is, You're bro. right. <laughs> look Maryland, in, Delaware. Look into it. We're in the East. Where? Well, shit. I mean, is Delaware really a state? I don't know, man. I mean, I know it is, but and, I've driven through Delaware. It took me five minutes to drive through. Yeah. Like, Delaware- that was with a tailwind. Yeah. The thing is, Delaware could be just taken over by Maryland, and you would never notice. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know if I'm even- I think Delaware- Delaware's more of a province of Maryland. Yeah. They call so, it the honky Puerto Rico, dude. Yeah. Delaware, Delaware's <laughs> barely- Silverware, Delaware. It's not even really named after much, I feel like. We got a, We got a, We got a, somebody yeah. live on the Let scene here. Let me see here. this. Maryland would easily win the state award, bro. We got Michael Phelps, most athletic guy in the world. We no, he's not. We got Lewis- he murdered someone once and got away with it, bro. He'll do it again. Yep. We also have the White House is in Maryland. No, Trump will nuke DC. every single state <laughs> that tries to shit. fuck with us. We literally cannot lose, period. Hey, you're... Hey. Hey, you fucking dummy. Hey. <laughs> Michael Phelps is smart. not the most athletic person in the world, and, and fucking... How dare you say the White House is in Maryland, you non-American? Bro. Get that ISIS plant... <laughs> Off that screen. No. Don't ever bring that guy up again. Well, let's this see, is his buddy this here. This is his He's stepfather. Fucking, don't ever send him. How the fuck do you do a video lying there like looking all cuddly and cozy? Bro, this is Me. you when you were young. We got this out of a time capsule He's you did in high bitch. school. You son of a bitch. <laughs> let's, let's listen to this right, guy. Delaware. I feel like Delaware would just kind of hide, hide in the corner somewhere, like under a table. And then when when the coast is clear, they pop out. And like, Who won, bitch? He makes a point. He's like from his right Auschwitz. Hand? Where's that guy fucking yeah. sitting? That why is his right man? hand all curled up on his chest like a little That's cutie polio. pie? Polio, man. If they got polio in Delaware, yeah. dude, he's holding a hanky or, or his little silk, that little <laughs> yeah. piece of silk cloth his mom gave him. Probably the guy was only this big. He's about that big. Yeah, he's got a little blankie, a little baby blankie. Dude, Maryland, you have Baltimore, the opioid epidemic. You have the it's the Bro, UFC Baltimore of opioids. Alone. Uh, this is how I describe you. Yeah, Santino. Made if a an man a- wait, hold on, an alien came down and said. Describe Santino. Go. Oh, he's a funny guy, but you don't want to push him because mm-hmm. he's got lines. Mm-hmm. You cross the line, it's going to meet you halfway. Mm-hmm. That that wouldn't help the alien find me in any I ever way. Did the, 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 I ever tell you how a, how a special forces guy answered a question? My idiot friend asked him if he ever killed anybody. What did he say? Ask me, I'll be the special forces guy. Uh, Lieutenant Callan, uh just... Curious about uh, whether or not you've ever killed somebody. Never stopped to look, brother. <laughs> Shit. That's like the coolest fucking answer. Mm-hmm. Never stopped to look. Here's how another tough guy. Who's yeah, let's leg- do tough. A, leg- a, leg- a, leg- a legit tough guy. Mm-hmm. Beat, beat, beat a real street fighter. And uh, ask, I'm going to be him. Okay. Boxer. Criminal. Now, ask me how I do against... I don't know, uh, 
find him, find me an athlete, throw him my way. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. What's up, bro? Hey, man. Uh, just curious. I know you're a tough guy in the streets. I know you're yeah. a big you're a big street guy, right? I don't know. I mean, that's I what know. I've heard. I'm not there when they talk. Really? Mm-mm. Wow. Well, we all hear it, yeah. and uh, we also hear that there's someone kind of gunning for you a little bit. Yeah. Who's that? Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo of the um, Milwaukee Bucks. Yep. He's about seven foot. Yeah. Nine. Uh-huh. He wants to fight you. Do you think you oh, could yeah? take him? I'll keep him busy. You see what I mean, dude? Yeah. You understand me? You going to keep him busy? Yeah. Yeah. I'll keep him busy. Keep your hands up? What? You keep your hands up? I don't know. Huh. Not there yet. Stray dogs, packs of strays. Crazy dogs, Mm -hmm. dude. And there's a dark dog underworld over there, too, dude. Rabies and everything. Mafia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll go with Providence, Bad Boy, Rhode Island. I'm I'm good there. There you go. Sweet. West Virginia, Vermont. Not even a question. Yeah, this is. West Virginia, just them rednecks will take Vermont. Vermont is the home of Bernie Sanders. Ben and Jerry's, though. Exactly. Weed. Ben and Jerry's, weed, and they're socialists. Driving around in Volkswagens listening to The Grateful Dead, Pumpkin pie, the whole fucking nine. Yeah. Yeah. They are too high and too liberal to do anything. I could go in and take over Vermont alone. I could beat up that whole fucking state alone. I need a small club and... uh, I don't know, a piece of meat because they'd run from it. I would love that movie, Brian Callen versus Vermont. Shit. (laughs) You got to make that movie. I'll beat them all up. I'll beat that whole state up. Fuck that place. I like Vermont, but fuck it as well. It's too liberal for me. And fuck Bernie Sanders. There, I said it. You fucking socialist. He went to the Soviet Union on his honeymoon. Did he really? That guy, yes, he did. So fuck that guy, okay? That guy's not an American. He's a communist, so kiss my ass. He's a closet communist, and so are all Vermontans, all right? Wow. And by the way, I've been skiing and all. I I lived, I went to high school up there. I know Vermont very fucking well. My sister went to Burlington. My first love was from Burlington, from Lake Champlain. The whole fucking Jeez. nine yards. I know all about UVM, that liberal the bastion. Race. Holy shit, are they liberal. Too liberal, yeah. too progressive. Go fuck yourself. Not a gun to be found in that whole state. Yeah. And I know there are people out there that are, you know, they're, they're, they're farmers out there, but even the farmers hate each other. They're like, hey, out, hey, out. That's how they talk. When they say, <laughs> ask, ask me a question that, that, that ends in yes, where I got to say yes. Oh, man. Do you have a lot of uh, different senior diseases? Hey, out. <laughs> That's how they say yes. Yeah. Hey, out. Hey, out. So it takes that long to say yes. Oh, they're fucked. Are you locked and loaded? Hey, out. By that time, you're dead. <laughs> so the West Virginia, those fucking, those rednecks in oh. West Virginia, they, they come into Vermont and they you're done. You're fucking done. Yeah. Everybody has a gun in West Virginia. They shoot at planes. Oh, yeah. They had somebody. What? Else- yeah, there you go. 74%. Wow. Over 26%, motherfuckers. Humanity has spoken, you dude. Are you kidding me? West Virginia West is Virginia. Bad. Get the dude, fuck Vermont, out of here If you Vermont. fart in Vermont and everybody doesn't smell it a little, oh, it doesn't yeah. count. Oh, my God. You get, you get a citation for polluting the air. Yeah. Fucking, That's crazy, uh, man. Vermont. My God. The People's Republic of Vermont. <laughs> you out of your mind? The catamounts? Shit, man. Do it. New Hampshire, though, bro. What? Where? Yeah, <laughs> six people live in New Hampshire. That's a good six point, people. Dude. I used to go to. I, again, I spent my summers in New Hampshire. Did you? Yes. You, God, you were everywhere. I was. I was. In, I went to summer camp up in Lake Winnipesaukee. Oh, it sounds like that. A that lake was childhood. so clean you could drink out of it. Jesus. Again, another progressive state. Yeah. Another state that's so clean it's ridiculous. With your clean ass lakes. I, I grew up next to that tuberculosis sipper, mm. the Chifuncta River, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> By the way, son. the people agree. Sixty-four percent. Oh yeah. When you grew up, you can you jump in that water, you can catch chlamydia. Oh, dude, my buddy jumped in, bro. Mm. He got out. He was four years older. <laughs> I believe it, dude. That's Four years shit. fucking older, dude. You got an STD and you got eye infections for the rest of your life. Oh, yeah. How's your eye? Better, right? Uh, it's okay, dude. Yeah. Uh, but can you get pink eye from your own butt or not? Probably. Mm, I got to yeah. look that up. We'll look it up after yeah. this. You can't so be man, digging around your, in your butt and then I scratching wasn't. your eye. I wasn't. Oh. So that does it for the East region first round. Some interesting matchups in the second. And the little Gianni over here, who's a fucking, he's going to be in a movie with Olivia Smart coming you up, are? actually. Is that right? Yeah. You an actor? Yes. There you go. It's Octavia Spencer. Dude. Sorry, the black Olivia Smart. Yeah, are you in Are you in my special Complicated Apes that's now everywhere you can rent or buy? Uh, oh, I am, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. It's oh, great. See yeah. Johnny in Complicated Apes. 
number one I, number one album on iTunes right I now. love the fact that we call him Johnny too now that's fucking good but yeah. that, you know they spell it where he's from Rhode Island G-I-A-N-N-I uh, Johnny you're Italian <laughs> you're from Rhode Island yeah there you go so you know you know about Providence yeah. rich bro look at the stem cells in that little motherfucker uh, he's a bro young, he's a young kid with a full mouth dude I'd now, suck his dick this. just to feel better bro damn right it'll you cure a cold do any wrestling or anything uh, I, I do boxing you yeah. do boxing, oh, yeah. God. You do. I played. Boxing. I played hockey growing up a lot, like for probably eighteen years. Where do you box? Uh, I box and burn in Brentwood with Tony. Yeah, so you don't do any sparring? A little bit, not much, because I'm an actor. With Brentwood Schaub over there, he goes yeah. in the morning. Come over to Glove Works. We'll get you moving around the ring. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. Pop, pop a cow and take you uh, around a little bit. Yeah, see what yeah. happens. I want to see what your patterns are about. See if you fall for certain things. Right. I'm not gonna beat. You. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna mark you up a little bit. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> But I'm, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you know. That's all. Just, dude, just his so favorite you know. pattern's Burberry, bro. This guy has no fucking. Dude, <laughs> yeah, yeah, first of all, when you're skating kid. on fucking water, when there's people who have no water. Yeah. Hey, come on in. We're talking about. We're talking about. Uh, we're talking about houses. You and got where, a musical twang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I so like it. I like. Uh, Brian's talking about his first apartment on Speedway in Venice. Yeah. Where's and Speedway? Speedway is on Navy and and basically the ocean, okay, which is down in Venice. Okay. And I got this great apartment, and I was doing a, a little show called Mad TV, okay, mm -hmm. original cast member. I was 28, tight skin, athletic, <laughs> supple, like, uh, like, a, like, a, like, a, like a boy cat, okay, like a boy cat, you understand? <laughs> And uh, ran on the beach. Did not wear a shirt. Um, ran on the beach? <laughs> sure I did. In sand. There's nothing like running in sand, brother. Oh, my God. When I say run, I don't mean jog. You jog, okay? <laughs> I kick my knees high. <laughs> I run hard. Oh, okay? Oh. You understand? And I always long for a pull-up bar so I could... Uh, I could do what's called intervals. You know what interval training is? Of course not. Here's the bottom line. <laughs> I get my heart going, all right? Anyway, the bottom line was uh, my buddy came to visit me. And uh, we heard, he, I didn't hear it, he heard shots. And the next morning, and not even the next morning, about an hour later, they were chalking out the outline where a guy had been shot. In a, in a, and that's what Speedway, that's what Venice was. Right. And I was going to buy a house on Indiana, and I remember I said to the guy, it was, it was a very, at the time, think about this in Venice, it was a huge house, and it cost, I remember it cost, uh, Five hundred and seventy thousand dollars. When was something, this? Something crazy. Where 1980? I was like, it was nineteen ninety six, ninety seven. I was like, what? How much? And I wanted to buy a house. Right. And it was like five hundred and seven or something crazy. And maybe yeah. it was almost six hundred. And I remember a dot com guy came in and bought it <gasps> out from under me. A dot com guy. But and I remember looking at him. He was a guy who um, I would have had no problem with. Nope, as in, like, if he came at me, yeah. I'd have no problem with him. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I put him on his back, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, uh, but the bottom line is, I remember he just looked like this kind of weak dude who was grinning and he had glasses on and he, he was a dot com guy, so he just bought it for cash. But long story short, I said to the cop who rolled up, I said, How dangerous is this area? I want to buy a house. And he goes, You see that fire hydrant right there? I go, yeah, he goes, so a fortnight ago, I remember he used the word fortnight. fortnight. I didn't know what it meant. Oh my God. I go, fortnight? And he goes, a fortnight. I go, well, uh, uh, how are thee, first of all? And, <laughs> and he, uh, he said a guy was killed right there at that fire hydrant.